Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video I'll show you how to make a 2D ragdoll in Godot. Ragdolls in Godot are actually really simple. We just need to make rigid bodies for the head, body, arms, legs, and use pin joints to join them together. Create a new scene called Ragdoll. Now add a rigid body, collision shape, and a sprite for each of its body parts. You want to create a ragdoll with its head, arm, leg, and body. All the sprites will be linked in the description below. We want to make sure the collision shape is exact. If you can't get the collision shape to fit on your sprite, then instead of using the collision shape 2D, you can use a polygon shape 2D. I do the same for the body, its arm, its other arm, its leg, and its other leg. This will finish with a full ragdoll. I just made the quick ground with a static body and a collision shape. And if we play the scene, you can see that uh, the ragdoll all falls apart, which uh, is obviously what we don't want. So to fix this, we need to connect each piece to each part of its body. Create a new node called joints. We're going to add a pin joint 2D to join the two things together. First we're going to connect the head and the body. Move the joint to between the head and the body. Node A will be the head. Node B will be the body. This will connect them both. Now if we play the scene here, we can see that the body and the head are connected, whereas the other parts aren't. So we just need to do the same thing with the rest. For the body and the arm, we'll duplicate it, connect it where the body and the left arm will be. Choose the body as node A, and the left arm as node B. Do the same for the right arm, same for the right leg, and the same for the left leg. And now if we play it, it won't fall apart and it will stand. To control this ragdoll, create a new script in the ragdoll. Create a new variable called power. This is where we're going to store the amount of power for when we move it. In the physics process function, and create a new variable called axes. This will return either negative 1, 1, or 0. When we start pressing the right arrow key, it will slowly go up until it's equal to 1. Whereas if we press the left key, then it will take away until it gets to negative 1. And if we're not pressing anything, it will return to zero. Time this by our power to tell our ragdoll which direction we should move. Create a reference to your body and use the apply impulse to apply an impulse to our body which will move it in a certain direction. Our offset will be zero and we'll use vector2.right to push it along the right axis. Times in it by the axis to tell you which direction to move. Times in it by the power to make it move. Run the scene and if we press the left it will move left. And if we press right, it will move right. That's how you create a simple ragdoll. All the sprites will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more, and goodbye.